Okay, uh, give me your name, sir. Hi, my name is Chris Idaki. I'm from Zuni Pueblo. And um, the emergence of the Zuni people happened in the Grand Canyon. The same as the Hopi, then. Same. The same story. Yeah, because you guys are cousins to the Hopis, anyway. Yes, yes we are. And you're their, I call you their artistic cousins, in fact. Yes. Your, your artwork's similar. much better. <laughs> well, it is. Yeah. It is. They do kachinas. You guys do the jewelry and stuff. It's much yes. better. Yes. Yes. So um, we emerged from the four underworlds, and uh, this is the fourth world that we are in today. And um, we, we call a place in, in, in the Grand Canyon called Ribbon Falls, which is the place where we emerge. And uh, we call this place Chimik Anakonatea, where time and our emergence first began in this world. And so um, this is the place where we tie our connection to Mother Earth and sort of like an umbilical cord of our people tying us to our Mother the Earth. And um, so we play, pay homage to this uh, place in the Grand Canyon. And uh, we also, this is where you know, our people came from and this is where you know, our livelihoods are. Do you, do you guys make uh, migrations or anything like that to that area anymore or not? Not necessarily this time around. And I'm sure you did yeah, in the I'm past. Sure. I'm sure you did. Yes. No doubt. But has that been lost now, you think? Yes. It has been. Yeah. There was a migration that took place, uh, or a pilgrimage that took place, placed, uh, several years ago uh, by several of our religious leaders. And they went and, you know, went to that place and did their prayers and, you know, gathered some of the uh, pigments that was found around that area then brought it back home. Okay, yeah. And, and, and what's interesting is that I have a friend that have written books about this, and, and it's becoming a real popular thing, is that the earth is hollow. Yes. That the earth is a living thing. Yes. And, and I was I telling the girls, I have yet to find a tribe in the Southwest that does not have an emergent story. You guys just happen to have four levels. Yes. Now, the only ones I ever heard before were one level. I was telling the girls that the Hopi used a reed that they came up through. And what's yes. even more interesting, if you think about the story of Jack and a Beanstalk, it's the same doggone story. <laughs> and yes. when you guys emerged from inside the earth, you emerged, there was the giant. Yes, yes. And, and the golden coins was the stars. <laughs> yes. See, that, that Jack and the Beanstalk, right? Yes. And the music that played itself was the noises of the earth, the animals, the wind, the rains, and the storms. And there's Jack and the Beanstalk is the hollow earth story. Yes. It is identical. Identical. And I think I'm the first one to realize, I, I got a blog, and I'll show you how to find my blog, okay. and I'll give you how to find yourself on YouTube for this video. Okay. And I've written about that, and I just wrote about the Zunis a couple of weeks ago on my blog about your emergence story. And I was at Chaco Canyon last year, and I filmed the stuff up there, and thinking I got some great photos from Chaco Canyon running on my blog. And it's like a continuous thing that it goes from picture to picture to picture that I got uh, attached to my blog. So uh, very good, folks. And you heard it firsthand here from a Zuni about the emergence of the earth. And the gentleman is also doing some artwork here. And, of course, we all know the Zunis are good at silver work, and they've always been good at silver work. And it kind of I just discovered the other day writing a blog. And you know how you got it, don't you? You got it from the doggone people that imprisoned you, the uh, Spaniard uh, missionaries. Mm -hmm. yes. Taught you how to be, uh, do leather and jewelry and stuff like that to exploit you when you, they were. Uh, and I discovered the uh, Pueblo Rebellion of the yes. 1680 or something like that, yes. when they killed about 400 of the, uh, of the uh, Spanish priests and chased 2,500 other Spanish priests down into Mexico, and then 12 years later, and I'll pan around and show this little area here, and then 12 years later, the uh, Spanish came back with more troops and took you back over, but this time they had to compromise with you. And then what happened was Spain, the, Spain lost its uh, power over the, um, the, the uh, Pueblo people and, and Mexico, and they gave it all up, and you were sold into slavery, unfortunately. So uh, sad tales.